I was looking at the color. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were ripping ass. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm all... Welcome back. We're here to get the our pants scared off of us. We're watching. I got. Oh, I got shit. this. Uh, we got this. Yeah. I think we've. I think it's apparent we've got a humidifier in here. I got all the lights off, and we got this humidifier, and it keeps changing colors. It's so cool. There, I, I should get a video of it. There's a fucking. It turns orange. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, it's such a good orange. It's such a. Deep I really, I really should get a video of that and put it up. Medicals nearby. I didn't want to leave. Stop touching her. That's, that's inappropriate. Oh. You're a ribbit. How do you get? Do you know how to get um, videos like off of an iPod? No. Because I don't know how to do that. I'm guessing it would be pretty easy. I mean, you probably just need to tether it to a computer. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to, I'll get that fucking video. Anyway, the thing I wanted to tell you about, it was kind of funny today. What's um, happening? I think power is going down or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. He's touching her belly. I think there's a save point here, too, so you might want to talk to Waste. Get yeah, that cool. up. I think it's on the other side of the the area, like down that way. Yeah. There it be. There it is. Um. But yeah, okay, so today in Japanese class, right? Mm hmm. We had a. Uh, we had like a group thing where we get together with like a, a couple of other people and then we make up a fake family and then introduce each other, you know, like using in the proper Japanese style. Yeah, yeah, and the proper titles. So like, you know, a uh, proper term for like grandfather or mother or father or whatever. Yeah, know, yeah. That sort of stuff. So uh, <clears throat> we she wanted us to make up like a fake family or whatever. <laughs> so everybody in my group decided to really take it to heart to make like a fake family. So we came up with like this uh Japanese Irish mob family <laughs> called the O'Connors. <laughs> Except I, myself, and another girl were the uh, were like the grandmother and the grandfather. So I'm Pete Jones. <laughs> Pete Jones. <laughs> and that was and that was just to play off of Zack and Mira make a porno when Lester he's like, oh, do I get to have a porn name? I want to be Pete Jones. <laughs> yeah. There's also a map behind you. I don't know if you saw the map. Man, you always gotta get them maps, man. Anyway, um... <laughs> I was picturing... I was picturing that to be just a butt. Yeah. <laughs> just a... Boop. But anyway, so we got our crime family, which is me and, and Annie O'Connor, or Annie Jones, rather, I think is her name. And then we both... We have, I think, a daughter named Carrie O'Connor. And then... And then her husband is Connor O'Connor. <laughs> and their child is Kelly O'Connor. So, um, basically, I think from what we gathered is that we're cri like we're like a mob, like a crime mob family sort of thing. Yeah. I think we smuggle cocaine or something like that through our tavern, which is called the uh, the Rosewood Stag. And it's funny because we this was all a joke during class, right? But then afterwards, I think like the more and more we talked about it, we're like, so this is gonna be our new sitcom, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. But then, like, <laughs> the one girl actually made a Facebook group about it. Like, like literally, like, about a half hour after we had this conversation. And then, and then apparently, she's trying to come up with character bios for everybody. So I'm guessing over the summer, we're going to make this, this, uh... <laughs> Small little film kind yeah, of thing. I, we, I guess it's going to be a sitcom, and our, we're going to have a twist ending because we want to try to explain why everybody's basically the same age, because we're all roughly the same, like, age group. Yeah. I think the youngest that's how, one's, like... That's how the Japanese look. <laughs> yeah, but, well, like, I think I'm the oldest. Yeah. And, like, and then the youngest is, like, maybe 18, I think. So we all are re relatively around the same age. And we wanted to pull some, like, weird, like, time warp bullshit at the end to kind of justify everybody being, uh... <laughs> The same age, so I just threw out the idea. Of, like the last line of the first season is like, "So where'd you park the time machine?" And then just <laughs> like just the <laughs> like it just like the name of the the fucking show just pops up, and then the credits roll. <laughs> so like, and that's just we already got an ending for the first season at least. <laughs> That's the last line of the first season. That's the that's the best way to end the season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what you part the time machine? Completely but never honest. say anything about it before. Yeah, like, it was never brought up prior to that. I think you gotta go through the vent. I think. Yeah, I'm just looking around. <laughs> so I guess Open that's your a, anus and let me in. So I guess that's a thing that's happening now. And the girl that made the, um... The group, she, uh... I think she's a film major, so naturally she would want to do this sort of thing. 
And I'm kind of finding more and more interest in actually wanting to make films, too, actually. So, like, I enjoy doing Scrubs and Dragons. I just wish that, uh, from my perspective, I wish that everybody was, like, more in tune with, like, handling equipment and setting shit up so I wasn't the only one doing it. But yeah. That was my only, like, real complaint. And people kept fucking with my goddamn Claymore. That was annoying. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a weapon. I know, but it's like nobody was doing that with fucking Mitch's hammer as far as I can remember. Well, it's because Mitch wouldn't let anyone touch it. Even though it's like, get the map, get the map, get the map. What map? What get map? the map. What map? I you don't keep see your eyes map. open for that fucking map. Where's that map? You just fucking... Don't you I test don't see me. The map. Don't you test me. Where's this fucking map? Don't test me. That's not a map. Is that a fucking piece That's of a, graph paper? Yeah, this is graph paper, clearly. Oh, well, that was the map, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, you're going to some doctor dude, because he's like, I, I can help Taylor James over there. Taylor Dane, Hi. Taylor Swift, Taylor Hawkins. I don't know many. Hawkins! I don't, uh, Taylor Jones. No relation to Pete Jones. <laughs> Did I tell you about that? The, Ves the Vespers had a live stream that I watched a little bit of? Yeah. And then they, uh, like, answered a question. <clears throat> they answered a couple of my questions, but I asked them I if they had any, uh... Coleman! Coleman! What's up, Coleman? I asked them if they had... I my tits against the glass. I asked them if they had any, like, musical, like, artists that they liked that they would that people wouldn't expect them to like. And I was really hoping that I'd hear some, like... Like, Ju like Judas Priest or something. I was yeah. really hoping something for, like, Something that's out of their genre. Yeah, but no, we got... Taylor, the classic Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift and... Fucking I think Justin Bieber might have been one of them. That's where you just uh, you you take your dick out and you smack them in the face for being idiots. Because that's, oh. that's I mean, something no, they're that entitled. No, they're entitled. They like no, they're they not like, entitled I mean, to like, what you know, their you should make another med kit. You should make another med kit. What I'm doing, piece of shit. I just uh, I was just really hoping for something really out there, or like CeeLo Green. Like they love CeeLo Green, you know, or Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. You know, oh, something right. just, something like, just really, like, totally God. not what you'd expect, like, a folk band to listen to. Man, it costs a lot to make a fucking EMP. You should wait till you get a pipe bomb. Pipe bombs take a ton of shit. There we go. Give me, give me that. <laughs> blah, blah, give me that. <clears throat> Alright. I like how uh, I'm trying to load Facebook up on my iPod and it just doesn't open. Yeah, sometimes Facebook's a kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know Shabow! if it's the app, if it's What the, the... fuck? What? <laughs> it looked like I had a needle through my arm. Oh, maybe you did. I was looking down as soon as you Hold did on. that. I wonder if I can get that door to close and then I can override it again. <laughs> maybe I have to go on the other side and do that. No, there's only oh, the yeah. one button. That's disappointing. Well, I mean, you could probably find another button to do it on. That's what I'm thinking. Well, you've got a med kit in your hand, so that's probably why it did that. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like I had it shoved through my hand. Okay, so uh, you've, you've probably seen up to this point, right? Yeah. There's another save point in here, I believe, like in this room. Yeah, there's one right behind you. Shut up. I know. Go, go save the game. I gotta look at shit first, dog. There's a, there's a save point right behind you. Uh, but this is like the legitimate first alien encounter. Spoilers, sorry. You piece of shit. I've seen this already. Yeah, so you know what, you know. Oh, yeah. Here. Let me. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't do it that time. Okay, you'll see it in the cast. Yeah, I'll see it, yeah, what, I'll see it later. Alright, so what they came up with is that... I I turned you off! Carrie has been trained since birth, basically, into the family business. You piece of shit! Connor is just a bystander and finds out about Carrie's other life and sort of gets sucked in. On how they meet is in Dead of Night, Carrie is on a job and comes across Connor dancing in the moonlight and she's intrigued so they go steady. <laughs> what? That's, that's the plot. Oh, okay. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> sir? I don't. I can't really. Your face isn't. Are really you a, a sir? <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. Yep, yep. You're a sir. 
Look at these little noodly fucking walls. Yeah. Noodle, noodle, noodle. You could think you could probably still kill yourself in that. I could do it. Rip off some of that shit and hang yourself. That's how I killed myself once. Cause suicide is painless. Boop, boop. It brings on many changes. Boop, boop. And I don't fucking care if I sneeze. My device is invalid. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm. That's we're getting, we're getting some ideas for this fucking show that we're, I guess, we're making now. You know, I'm just your friend, and just, you know, you're I'm just doing. I'm not gonna be sitting on my know, fucking iPod all night. I'm not saying I'm not gonna sit on it all fucking night. Okay. I'm just, saying, I'm, just I'm just. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to further my film career. Okay. I'm trying to I'm break out. Star. I'm trying to break out. I'm gonna be Pete Jones. Pete Jones. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you're just making me so angry. Oh. Have you found the passcode? 7202! Need the physical key card too. Molly always kept it on me. Find him. Yeah, no problem. Look at that skeleton. Fucking take him. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm quarantine breach detected. Hold on. I'm gonna. One, one sec. Shit. I mean, you've got, it, you've got it covered, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I know what's going on. I'm just gonna start running around, and I'll find Dr. Jones. And over here. I'm gonna fight him. If he comes by, I'm gonna fight him. Shooting his stupid face. If that's if that's how you want to face it, I mean, go for it. That's that's how I face everything. You should shoot everything in the face, and I win. Alright. See, I already won. He bitched out. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. The oh, rose, coming the back. rosewood stag. That is a, I guess, a working title. <clears throat> this is my next concept album. <laughs> I gotta learn how to do some like Irish jig music if I'm gonna do the soundtrack for it. Seventeen, oh, seventeen o two. See, I wasn't even paying attention. I need the fucking code, bitch. I thought it was gonna be seventeen oh three. Then I was get the gonna... map. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, override that fucking. Nope. Pow. Now he can't get in here except for getting through the vents. So he can come through. That door doesn't stay permanently <laughs> closed. Of course. You're moving pretty quick, man. You're doing a pretty good job. Well, I mean, I'm a master stealth. I think this. I think this definitely does cater a little bit more to your master of stealth skills because Thief is a is a first person game, right? Yeah, all the way. I think in Deadly Shadows, couldn't you play it in third person? Yes, you could. All right, I never did because I'm well, yeah, less, less control. Yeah. Just outside the door, just in case. How's this? Yeah. Yeah, when I'm in here, I always hold back. And then yeah, you can ch you can see the full screen of the thing. I don't think he's in here. I don't either. But I, yeah, I, I don't blame you for getting in the in the locker, because he periodically does go into these rooms. But you managed you managed to get there pretty quick. Usually it takes me fucking forever to get there because it's like at least oh there he is. Okay, good thing he didn't get out. Might want to. Uh, oh God. Okay. So you know how to dodge it if he does go up. L2, R2? L2, you just hold L2, and then you hold back. And then you have to let go of it real slow. When you, yeah. I didn't think he was be in there, but... Good thing he didn't get out. I can't... Yeah, oh. if, you, if you hold back, yeah, so you can see all the way. God damn. 
see, all right, so they so they make the the alien rather unpredictable most of the time, which is pretty good. Like the AI, the AI is in this game is actually really good. I just the one thing I hate about it though is that they like specifically program it for it to like be an asshole. Yeah, to like always go where you are, like every time. Well, it's to keep pressure. It's like I understand that, but it's like. I don't know, like, he was just in one room a second ago, and then, like, he just goes right back there. Like, he always, like, like homes in back into that own, like, that same fucking place, and it's just kind of frustrating. What are you supposed to do? Find, Find Dr. Dr. Molly's key card. Key card. I'm guessing he's dead, so... Yeah. So Normally how people you have to are. Go, you have to go see which rooms he goes into. Yep. And always keep an eye on that fucking tracker, man, because that alien even be right around the corner, you never know. He ain't gonna do shit. I think he's coming towards you right now. Yeah, he is. Morley. Morley. There he is. Alright, that was... Master, I don't understand how he did stealth. I don't understand how he didn't see you there. I am the master of stealth. Fuck you, Ellie, you got shit out of me. You didn't see what fucking rooms he used. Nope. <laughs> I don't think it says... If you go into your objective thing, it might tell you. I don't know. A29, C21, what was the other one? Just go into the rooms. Yeah, you'll I'll find them. I, I remember which one he is. At least I think I remember which one he is. I don't remember which one he is, but just go in there and you'll fucking... You'll find it. <clears throat> so... The thing about this part... Is all right. Go. I think there's a room coming up on your right. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Go on the right. Go on the right. Go on the right. Hide somewhere. I believe there's a save point in here. And he will come in here. So, oh well, yeah, just hang tight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a save point in the corner, and I think there might have been a blueprint on this table that you're underneath too. I it might have been something else, but it looked it kind of looked like a, a blueprint. Come on, mother trucker! I'm waiting for you. So yeah, he'll likely come in here oh. in just a moment. Oh, there he is. Because that's that's how he operates. Oh. Okay. Yeah, get out and investigate real quick. Just keep... Yep, okay, so you got your pipe bomb. Yeah, there's a save point in here. That's to your... Yeah, right there. So... Yeah, he ain't even close right now. And that's a good thing, because otherwise, if you died, you'd have to do all that again from that last save point. And that's, that's the killer that people have with this game, is that there's not a lot of auto save moments. Well, you know, I actually that, rather that like doesn't that. make it hard. I actually rather like that though. I like that there it doesn't just auto save every time you go around a damn corner, you know. Cuz then it really does make it feel like there's some weight to your deaths, you know. So, I actually rather enjoy it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're dead. You're dead. Fucking over. Yeah? Am I dead, Taylor? I swear he should have saw you. you. He should have saw you like several times over by now. You ain't got shit. Wow. Whoa! Knocking over shit? <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you. Cocky, man. I'll teach if you. you can, have, you, have you died yet at all in this game? Um, yeah, I don't think you have. No. No, I there is not. a there is a trophy that you can get if you go through the entire game without dying once. All right. So if you can get me that trophy, I will give you twenty bucks. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that's going to happen, because I tend to do stupid stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm actually surprised you haven't died yet. I, I, I thought for sure that he would have seen you, because you were like in plain sight, and then you just slowly walked back into this fucking room. <laughs> like, like he should have seen you. Yeah. He really should have. I, I, just, I wonder how he didn't, because it's like, if I had played that part, I probably, he probably would have killed me. Like I said, he's just a little bitch. <laughs> Probably, probably, maybe a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Lester, the molester, cock and stuff. You just gotta remember that they're more afraid of you than you are of it. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I don't really know if it applies in this situation because it's like usually in that sort of like context, it's like something that thing can kill me easily. I can't kill that thing easily, so he's probably not afraid of me at all. He's probably not afraid of me in the slightest bit. 
Oh right, yeah, so these are what yeah, the key card should be in one of these rooms somewhere. <laughs> when a giant fucking like eight foot predator is on the loose and he can easily murder you, he, he that thing's not afraid of you. I don't know what I just did. I think you closed that, like, urinal thing or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, yeah. Because you got proper hygiene. Get that map, 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 get that map. There you go. Good job. Good job. In all seriousness, though, Billy, you are doing a really good job. Is this you? I will let you know. Nope. You got some more bullets, though. You got another bullet. Is this you? Oh, there it is. There it is. You got it. I remember when I got it, I just fucking went back. I didn't even bother checking out anything else because, oh man, fucking alien. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I think that's fine. I don't know if the air purification causes fog or if it doesn't. I, I still don't really quite know. I would believe it would, you know, cause the fog. I, I really don't know. Okay, let's see what's on this. So basically, like, you know, if you actually wanted to read these, you just fucking hit all of them and then just read them in your logbook later. Because <laughs> yeah, otherwise cause he can come right up to you and just fucking like, you. So what you reading? Oh, uh, you know, just some stuff. Or just some fanfic that my girlfriend wrote. <laughs> <laughs> There's aliens and predators in it. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that was completely the wrong one. There you go. Just find another spot. Another spot. Yeah. There you go. There you go. See, I like this mini game. I think that one's pretty, pretty unique. I like that one. It's like the only one that's good. Oh, there you go. Now you can go back to that safe spot. I'd say, I'd say go back to the safe spot. Mm -hmm. And he's just chilling in there, like so. What? And I just <laughs> slowly but surely go underneath the thing. <laughs> yeah, no, like, huh, he's, no sitting, he's sitting there with a fucking clipboard. He's like. My name's Chris Hansen. Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Uh, so I hear you like to steal key, key cards, huh? What's that all about? Oh, you want a cookie? Oatmeal raisin. Oh, you're dead. I think you're dead now. He, he saw you. Oh, maybe not. You're getting real lucky. Because usually when you hear him hiss, you're dead. Maybe you just don't believe hard enough, Taylor. I, I'm really, I'm really surprised you have not died. I'm, like, seriously. It, it's, it baffles me how you're still alive. <laughs> and I'm not saying that you're making mistakes. It's just that, like, you have been in plain sight of the alien, and he, like, like several times now, <laughs> and he has not killed you. Maybe he likes me. He's I, like, maybe. I like this guy's moxie. He comes out. <laughs> And shows me he straight up. He doesn't fear me. Yeah, he doesn't just hide immediately. I mean, he takes a second, but he he still hides. But he's not like <gasps> you know. He's he, not like screaming at me or yeah. something like I'm a monster. I find it a little odd that the okay. alien drags his tail everywhere. Like you think it would be like up. Yeah. So, did you save it already? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm like I'm still just like in awe that you <laughs> like haven't died once yet. I mean, you do are doing a good job. I'm not. I'm not saying that you're not doing a good job. It's just that, like, that's like the third time this episode <laughs> that he's like directly seen you and done shit, and he has not killed you. And I'm just amazed by that. I just don't understand because <laughs> he hissed at you for God's sake. He's like, he's like, I I see you standing there, but he's just like, eh, later. I'll get you later. Oh, could this be? <laughs> <laughs> See now that now that you're actually gonna try to hide, he's gonna fucking murder you. Oh no, he's going the opposite way. You're good. See you, bitch. <laughs> just go through the door, man. I just went through the door. I need to lock yourself in this room for like another like twenty seconds. Shut up. You know, you know what though. I mean, it's probably a different situation because you're playing with another person in the room. But like, I remember the first time like I did this part, I was like too petrified to move half the time because it's just like this fucking alien is like right around the corner. He'll fucking murder me if he sees me. See, that's the thing. You just gotta move. Uh, is that the right way? Probably not. Always good. check the map, man. No, you're going the wrong way. Yep. I need to. What does it say? 
Oh, return to Dr. Coleman. I think... No, wait. No, you might be going the right way. Yeah, because I can't go that way because it's blocked. Uh, shit. So I gotta go. Uh, okay, so I gotta... Yeah, I can't go the way I'm going unless I go... Yeah, you're going... Yeah, because you're going back to... Uh, yeah, so I need to go that yeah, way. Yeah, you gotta go... Yeah, you gotta go the opposite way. Okay, I gotta go towards the alien. Yeah, because this is like the stairs that you go up when he first appears. So next time on Chin Stretch Hats, we'll see if Billy actually makes it out alive. He's doing a good job so far. Oh, oh, oh there goes the motion sensor. <laughs>